I'm Alexandra Daisy Ginsberg. I'm a designer and artist and I'm currently researching a PhD at the Royal College of Art in London where I'm looking at the idea of a better future and what a better future might mean and how we might use design to actually understand what better could be. And I'm using design as a way to actually analyse and open up that question. So I'm lucky that I'm able to do PhD by practice as a designer. I want to make things. So trying to experiment to find different ways to, um, to test and strategize around this idea of better. So I've been researching synthetic biology for seven or eight years now and I wanted to use it as a case study as a new technology, an emerging technology where we could actually say well what is better for this technology. At the moment the way synthetic biology, a form of genetic engineering is being developed is very much business as usual, so trying to make fuels or chemicals, the same things we already have. So part of what I'm doing is saying well what what could we want? What world do we want to make? Um, but actually, how can we use design in that very process of asking? Um, so rather than trying to predict or come up with alternative um, ideas, actually, how can we step back and look at things like even economics and policy and use experimental design strategies? I'm fascinated by biology and so actually think about how we might design living things and that's been something that's run through a lot of the projects is actually sort of con what the aesthetic of biology could be if we were able to design it and using that as a way of exploring the kind of ethical questions around the design of life. I'm doing PhD by practice, which means that all my practice is sort of getting rolled into it, which is exciting. So uh, the first year I worked on a project with Dazine and Mini called Frontiers, where I was working also with Imperial College London and the synthetic biologists there, designing a sort of an alternative future model for car manufacture. And um, another project that's been part of it is called Designing for the Sixth Extinction, which was a project I did right at the beginning, which was imagining a future where synthetic biology is used to save nature. So designing organisms that would stand in for disappeared creatures, um, but they're described only in terms of um, machines and patent applications. So that project itself raised a lot of questions and debates within the synthetic biology community about the ownership of life and how we talk about the field of science itself. So the next project that I'm working on at the moment is, is to build on this um, more provocative way of working actually and how we can use design to open up these really kind of contentious, difficult questions um, within a science or technology. Since I spoke at Design and Darba, um, the Synthetic Aesthetics project which I was working on between Stanford and Edinburgh University, which was an international research project bringing together artists, designers and synthetic biologists, finally culminated in a book which we published with MIT Press last year. So 20 people so coming from all sorts of different disciplines, coming together to open up these, this issue and these questions around the design of life. And um, it's been really exciting to be nominated for Designs of the Year by the Design Museum again for 2015 because I was um, nominated a few years ago for the eChromide project. So um, it's great to see these more speculative and complicated projects sitting alongside mainstream design um, and sort of products that exist now and seeing design in a more expanded role where it can actually be used to ask questions and to probe and investigate.